for a lot of people this might be their first experience volunteering. You know, sometimes people come down for different sorts of reasons. They come down, they want to see the science, they want to just soak up a bit of history. But the idea is that you walk away having had an experience of, I guess, giving your time to something that you don't necessarily start out valuing, but you recognise that other people value. University education isn't just about learning more stuff in your chosen field of physics or philosophy or chemistry or medicine. It's about changing as an individual. Um, in terms of the community, the Anzac Centenary is absolutely central to um, Albany. And when you come here, it's really inspiring. I think they get a lot out of seeing other people engaging with their history. Essentially we're creating a walk um, for students I think around Albany uh, to go through the, the cemetery and see where some of the dead soldiers fought and when they get to these locations I think that um, there will be an explanation as to where they died and what they did um, throughout the wars. I kind of realised how young these soldiers were and actually um, seeing the age that they died, it kind of hits home a little bit more. And I think that if we can get students to go through and do the walk, I think that the same thing will happen to them. So I think it is important. Um, I'm working on um, finding letters from soldiers to their loved ones. It's only not only about the war that they went to, it's about what they felt also. We got your accounts from Soldiers from World War One, World War Two, and we're incorporating them into scripts. And they're just going to be, I think, like 90-second clips that will hopefully kind of connect people to the history of what happened. So I want to show people that the war is not only about sadness. The important themes of my vignettes is about friendship between the soldiers during the war. Here we're on the Wooliung Creek, which feeds into the King River, which feeds into the Oyster Harbour Catchment Group. So all the little bits of effort we're doing today is contributing to a massive effort that's going on in a, in a whole catchment. We're basically putting a massive effort into trying to remove those um, invading plants or weeds and replacing them with the local ones. The actual physical effort of more people, more hands-on, um, it makes yeah makes light work basically. It's actually very relaxing because. There's no stress, there's not much thinking involved, you simply pull out the weeds um, and you know that you're making an impact. You know, how much good fortune you have I think necessitates an obligation to give something back to the society that has just benefited you in unimaginable scores. <laughs> Service in the 21st century is... Giving back to the community. For me it's um, mostly to be sincere in what you do. I think service in this country from Australia is uh, helping a brother out. My idea of service is actually giving back to the community through using your own knowledge and skills. It's about working because you enjoy it and because you think it's important. My objective for the university is that everyone who graduates from the university is in some fundamental way a different person to the person they were when they first enrolled in their course of study. And that's why the service in the 21st century program for the Guild, I think, is so important. It gives students that opportunity to develop themselves and thereby also uh, make a positive contribution to the world around them. It's really good having UWA first students down in Albany helping out around the community. Um, it's really appreciated, thank you. <laughs> and it's really cool. Love to see you again.